question. How many of you have ever struggled to lose weight? Like, show of hands. Wow. Have anybody ever struggled with things like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol? Anybody show hands? Okay. Well, I've discovered that nine out of 10 adults actually either struggle with their weight or some type of illness that we just listed. And I'm actually Jamel Fields, and I actually struggled also with my weight, as you guys can see. <laughs> <laughs> After my days of playing college football, I actually got up to 335 pounds. And just five and a half years ago, I was actually laying in a hospital bed for an entire week because I let my health get so bad. Uh, my wife is actually a registered nurse, and I was at home and I had some symptoms that led her to share with me that I needed to check my blood sugar. So she said I needed to check it, so I checked it. And once I checked it, her and her mom are both nurses. They said, you need to immediately get to the hospital. I was like, what's going on? They said, you need to get that right now. So by the time I got to the hospital, they checked it at the hospital, and they told me what my blood sugar was. It was actually over 850. So they put me in an ambulance, and they rushed me to another hospital, and then they ended up telling me my triglycerides was over 1,800, and they kept me in the hospital for an entire week. And so I never even knew what diabetes was, so I'm in that confused wondering what's going on, why they keeping me in here for a whole week, but I ended up staying in the hospital for an entire week with my blood sugar fluctuating between 800 and 700 every single day. And so by the time I left the hospital after that week, I was going home, I had to stick myself with insulin multiple times a day in my stomach. I never knew what that was, and I, I had my mind made up that I needed to do something different, because I believe winners always find a way. How many of y'all believe winners find a way? Yeah. So I said that I was gonna find a way to be able to change that. But at the same time, how many of you have ever driven your car on a foggy day? You ever driven it on a foggy day? How do you drive when it's foggy? Anybody, how do you drive your car when it's foggy? Courtney, how do you drive when it's foggy in Dallas? She don't. I pull over. You pull over, so she don't even drive. So, guys, if you think about that, on a foggy day, I heard some people say that they drive slow. I even heard somebody say they pull over. So when I got at the hospital, my vision was very foggy. So even though I knew I needed to lose weight, it took me a very long time. Many times I even pulled over and stopped because I couldn't see exactly where I was going. So because my vision was foggy, guys, I was just barely trotting along trying to lose weight, so I struggled with it for a long time. And so by the time I got introduced to Skinny Body Care, my vision was still foggy, but we had weight loss supplements, so now I at least gave myself a chance to get healthy. And so I was on the right path to get healthy, but what happened was, because my vision wasn't clear, it still took me a long time to get my goals done. So what I'm gonna share with you guys, you need to write these things down because this is what can actually help you have a clear vision. Because as long as your vision is foggy, you'll never be able to accomplish your goals. It'll take you a very long time to get there. So the first thing I did is I made a decision that I needed to lose weight. That's the first thing you have to do is make a decision. From that, what I did is I actually wrote my goal down. I had to write down exactly what I wanted to do. I needed to know the exact weight I wanted to accomplish. So you have to write that down. The next thing you have to do is put a date on it. I have to know the exact date I wanted to hit the goal by so I can give myself a deadline, something to shoot for, a target. If you don't have a target, then you don't, you don't have anything to shoot for. So after I wrote down the exact thing I wanted to do, I wrote down and I identified people that can help me get it done. So I wrote, wrote, wrote down people that I can work out with, people that can work out with me, people that I can help hit their goals so they can end up helping me hit mine. And the most important thing I believe many of us have to write down is the obstacles that we're gonna face. So you wanna write down what obstacles you're gonna have challenges with. So if you know you love eating ice cream, write down ice cream can stop me from hitting my goal. Drinking soda can stop me hitting my goal. Eating chips can stop me from hitting my goal. And once you identify those things, once they come at you, you're gonna know that that's one of the obstacles that's in the way to stop you from hitting your weight loss goal. And once you do that, guys, now you have to post these goals up. Put it in your restroom, put it on your mirror, so when you brush your teeth every morning, you see your goal, and you're able to actually say it out loud to yourself every day. This is what I did. I spoke my goal every single morning when I saw it. When I got in the car, I had it on the dashboard so I could see it every single day when I drove my car. So now I'm speaking my goal every single day because I was 335 pounds, and I knew I had to do something different. And do you guys know what happens when you do all those things that I just shared with you? Y'all said we all drove our car on a foggy day. What happens when the fog starts to lift up? How are you able to drive your car after the fog goes away? A lot faster. So you're able to accelerate when the fog lifts. Now you're able to accelerate and hit your goal. So by me doing those things I just shared with you guys, what I did was I lifted the fog out of my vision. 
So I was able to accelerate. So then I made a decision that I was going to take the skinny body max every single day. I said, I'm going to take the high bar day every single day. And then I implemented exercise every single day because I had to lose over 145 pounds. I said, I lost 145 pounds. Right now, pull your cell phone out and hit the record button on your cell phone, guys. You gotta record this because these people that's getting on this stage, this is your company. People want to know if your products work. Woo! People want to know if you're gonna be able to do it. Can you do it? I see they've done it. Can you do it, guys? When somebody asks you that, this is what you need to be thinking in your head, and I want you guys to repeat after me. If they can do it, I can do it. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to point like this. If they can do it, I can do it. They can do it, I can do it. One more time, say it like you mean it. If they can do it, I can do it. Guys, you have to tell yourself that every single day. When you see somebody come on this stage and they are dying in the skinny body care, what you need to tell yourself? They can do it, I can do it. Somebody come on this stage and they hit crown diamond in six months. What do you need to tell yourself? They can do it. I can do it. Guys, these people that's gonna come on the stage lost a hundred pounds. What do you need to tell yourself? They can do it. I can do it. That's what you have to tell yourself every day, guys. And we have to think about it. Mr. Ben Glissy said he wants this to be the last company we ever have to be involved with. In other words, he said he wants this to be the company where you have absolutely zero excuses on why you can be successful in this company. So I want you guys to feel this and look around this room. How many of you all, since you've been involved in Skinny Body Care, you have earned at least one commission check since you've been involved? By show of hands. Look at your cameras. Turn your cameras and feel this. How many people has actually got paid? Look at the hands up. How many of you all in this room, since you've been involved in this company, you got results with any of our products? Keep your hand up. Even more hands went up, guys. Film the Look, turn your cameras around. Film how many people have gotten results with this product. So this is what I want to do, because we got to eliminate excuses. I've got a part right down the middle of this room. So I want everybody on this side of the room. When I point my finger over here, I want the people at the front desk to hear everybody on this side of the room. When I point to you guys, I want you to yell out as loud as you can, the product works. Let's try it, guys. Louder than that. Say it like you see somebody that just lost 145 pounds. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody on this side of the room, when I point to you guys, I want you to yell out as loud as you can, people making money. People making money. Say it like you just got a bonus check. People making money. Mind. The product works. People make money. If they can do it, 